I was invited to be one of the Canadians representing Canada at Documenta, which is a, a large international exhibition in Germany. What I hadn't expected was that once the piece was installed, that it would become a trigger to huge public debates because it was the year that refugee centers were being bombed in Germany. So the fact that the six channel video in the form of a functional piano bar featured 15 of my friends telling about how they came to this country or how their parents came to this country or what it meant to be forced to migrate or to choose to migrate, to live in exile and so on, that became very current. I'm an immigrant daughter of refugee parents and it's been part of my formation that I've been aware of what it takes to learn a new culture, a new language, a new way of life, the challenges, the difficulties. I never knew my grandparents, and the languages that they might have spoken were Polish and Yiddish. Also, these are languages marginalized in Germany. So that we dubbed all the narratives in those two languages, and the subtitles alternate English, French, and German. People who spoke only English would only experience, only understand one third of what was being said. And it was a way of creating the immigrant experience for those who are unaccustomed to being um, alienated in that way. I created the work in such a way that it remains evident that it is a fiction, while at the same time, there's a real piano player, a real piano, the bar is stocked and there's a real bartender. Sometimes that bartender is the artist and sometimes it's someone else. What I wanted was to make a place where uncertainty was a form of home, where people would feel that it's okay to be between worlds, whether they're between the fictional and documentary worlds or between their language of origin or the one that they're learning that that's okay. What the visitor takes away from the piece has a lot to do with what they bring to it. If they're just out for a good time, they'll have that good time. If they're thoughtful and are listening to the voices and looking at the faces that are around them and looking at the fact that the walls are at an angle, we've just shifted the whole bar to make clear that it's a fiction with the reality humming inside that fiction. And they would take away insights into, especially if they don't know the two voiceover languages, insights into what it means to be distanced from the language that you know. And I think some compassion may emerge. <laughs>